The 3 and 8 Dallas Cowboys are on the road this week in Baltimore to take on the 6 and 5 Ravens. I like how we were just moving just then, grooving. Two will look to take advantage of a major mismatch that exists between these two teams along the ground. And Hill will get the first down inside the 10. Still going. If Baltimore has all its personnel available, then they may want to focus on running the ball. The Ravens hitting at well over four and a half yards per carry for the year, third in rushing yards per game. What a great run. Couple those numbers with Dallas's rush D numbers, 4.9 yards per carry allowed and more yards per game allowed than any other team. And you can see why there will be so much incentive for the Ravens to run Forrest Run. He is gone. That same incentive though seems seems to exist for the Cowboys when they have the ball. Elliott, first down and four. It's not that Ezekiel Elliott is having a good year. He's having the worst year of his career, but Zeke needs volume to be effective. He's only had three games where he's had 20 plus carries, and in all three, he's averaged better than four a run and had 85 plus rushing yards. Elliott, cross midfield. But he's only received 20 plus handoffs once in his last five games, and in the four that he didn't hit that mark, he was under four a carry. Here's a play made by the stud Chase Young. And yes, part of that is the fact that he's had a case of fumbleitis that he hasn't been able to shake. He leads the league in fumbles lost among running backs. Ball gets knocked out. But with that said, it's not like the Cowboys passing attack has had much more success. And relatively speaking, it's easier to run on the Ravens than it is to throw on them. Into the secondary and a first down. Baltimore is allowing around four and a half yards per carry for the year, ranking middle of the pack in yards per game allowed. Harry's gonna end the game! When Dallas does elect to pass, it'll be Andy Dalton doing the passing. Last week, Dalton only managed 215 yards, 6.1 yards per attempt, a TD while being picked off. Here's a play made by the defense for the touchdown! Dalton has started four games, and in three of those four, he's faced tough pass defenses. And in those games, his rating was sub-90, his TD to interception ratio 2 to 4. Dalton, he's picked off! It's Buda Baker! The one game he posted a 100-plus rating in was against the Vikings, whose past he is ranked near the bottom of the league. He throws! Oh, what a catch! The Ravens' pass defense, though, is not ranked low. They held Ben Roethlisberger to a meager 5.2 yards per attempt, a rating in the low 80s while picking him off. And it's an interception! Tyus Bowser with the pick! The Cowboys' abilities against the pass are not as stout. Third highest passer rating allowed, no team with fewer passes defensed, no team allowing more TD passes. Throws, pass, caught, touchdown, Washington! How often they're tested depends largely on how the game unfolds. No team throws less than Baltimore. Lamar Jackson sits with 15 TDs, six interceptions, a rating in the low 90s. Launches to Andrews, open for the touchdown! If for any reason Lamar wasn't available, it could be that Trace McSorley gets the call, who apparently is a GOAT in the world of TikTok. Well, he must be a legend now that he made this throw. Brown, a good move, and he will score! Look, neither one of these teams is coming in hot, but both are still very much alive for the playoffs, so there shouldn't be a lack of motivation. Neither team should be feeling like Peter Gibbons in this one. Tell us who you have winning in the comments section. Our picks panel will tell you who they have winning on the screen. It's not that I'm lazy, Bob. It's just that I don't care. Bunch formation to the right. Pass is caught by Elliott, and he takes it in for a Dallas score. Take it. Jackson's going to get it, and he's going to get more. All the way. Touchdown, Baltimore.